Mike, Mike Anthony here. You want to hear a story? One day, one day I was working at my miserable job, wasting, wasting my life away when a bunch of people start to file in and everybody knows and when a bunch of people start to file in Mike Anthony, it starts to get a little uncomfortable. You see, thoughts, thoughts of all those people in pain and misery flood, flood through my mind. And I knew, I knew before I did something that I regret, I knew I just had to get away. So I went, I went into the bathroom, I shut that door, I locked that door, I shut the lights, and I sat in the corner in fetal position until I heard nothing but a pin drop. Until I heard nothing but a pin drop and finally I left and my shift is over and there's my boss with his face beat red and he's yelling at me and he's cursing at me and I swear, I swear to you, I asked him nicely to please stop. But he just wouldn't, he just wouldn't. So I took, I took my hand, I spit in it and I slapped him in the face and I told him I am done, I am done and I am never coming back. And he looked at me and he looked at me and he said, Mike Anthony, Mike Anthony, you, you need help. Mike Anthony, you have a problem and you need help. And maybe, maybe, just maybe he's right. Maybe I do have a problem. Maybe I do need help. Maybe, just maybe it's help. Mike Anthony, see. <laughs> Everyone, welcome back to this week's episode of Cap TV. You guys know this. I love being here. I love all of you. You love all of me. Why do you love me? Because my name is Jack Tomlinson, your host tonight, guys. I am the vlogging wrestler, the wrestler. Why do you have to do that if you're the wrestler? You gotta hit that subscribe button down below. Now, guys, this week's episode of Cap TV is mystically magic because we have two amazing matchups here today. We have Bobby Orlando taking on Mr. Tips. We also have some mixed tag action, which is amazing and like awesome. We have John Pretty Boy Collins and Ariel Nix taking on Megan Mason and Slade. Like that's getting me scared, but like I'm so scared. I just want to get to the opening match and we're getting to it right now. Pretty Boy Baby! Oh, what? Language! Contest is a mixed tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, they are the team of the answer to your prayers, Ariana Nix and Johnny Pretty Boy Collins. Together, they are Johnny Yara. Introducing their opponents. They are the team of the Facebreaker, Megan Mason and Slade! Yay! And welcome in here to Cap TV. It is the Hitmaker, Platinum Max Caster, alongside, um, well, frankly, this is Evil Kip. That's Evil Kip Stevens to you. Use my full name. Okay, I will uh, do that. Mr. Evil. Dr. Evil, even. I have not completed my degree yet. And I don't appreciate that joke either. As we get started here, Johnny Collins and Slade. 
starting this off. As, uh, Collins, obviously the smaller of the two, overpowered back to the corner. Yeah, I've wrestled Johnny Collins before. He is not strong at all. Slade is a newcomer here to create a pro, and Collins is going to test him out, I think, but that didn't seem to do much work. No, probably a bad idea to punch Slade right in the face as uh, Johnny Collins goes hiding in his corner. And here comes the powerhouse of the group, Ariella Nix. And uh, we'll see if Slade is okay with attacking a woman. Now, I do not endorse attacking women, but I can beat everybody in this ring, including the women. I know that for a fact. In a wrestling match, of course. Well, I'd like to see you try. I, I, I'm not, I don't want you to interrupt this match, but maybe another time. As, uh, we got uh, the face breaker, Megan Mason, looking to break the face of Ariella Nix. But she does a nice wrestling maneuver right there, showing how versatile she is. She's got a clear shot at the face if she wants it now, but maybe it's not the time. Ariella rolls herself over to the ropes. See, that's intelligent right there. No need to, you know, exert yourself this early in a match, especially with somebody who is claiming to break their face. Well, Ariella not so quick to jump out of the ring like Johnny Collins was. Again, she's the powerhouse of the team. Nice go behind there. We'll see if Megan can take advantage, and she does. I'm very impressed with her wrestling acumen. I mean, it's nothing compared to mine, of course, but... Yes, Kip, of course. Side headlock. And Ariella grabbing the hair. Referee may be out of position on that. See, that's intelligence by Ariella Nix right there. There was an opening, she took it. I fully endorse that decision. Sends Mason out to the opposite corner. He's out of the way. What's, uh... Oh, no. Is Ariella, she tear her triceps, or...? I mean... Johnny, no. Johnny Collins looking for a cheap shot. Oh, Ariella! Oh, oh, Ariella! She is fine. You see, that's that's intelligence right there. She was checking out her tricep, just giving it a light massage. And oh, geez, and Slade is on the warpath on the outside of the ring after that trickery by, what do they call it, Johnny Ariella? I, I don't know. They have a, a mashed up name, like a celebrity couple. Well, it doesn't matter because right now they're on top and they're dominating, so we have to respect them for that. Ariella grinding the face of Megan Mason, possibly trying to break Mason's face with a chin lock here. As Mason makes her way up to a vertical face, firing in shots to the solar plexus of Nix. Ducks one, ooh, back elbow coming back the other way. Very nice, you see. See, I think what Megan wants to do, she. As much as she wants to break the face, it's just not going to happen. Ariella doesn't want anything to ruin this pretty face. Same it's, thing for Johnny. It's true. As pretty as Johnny Collins is, Ariella Nix believes she's just as pretty. The answer to your prayers. You know, I've been praying all day for an Ariella Nix match. I currently have one. So I know you're happy. I am happy. You know what? It's good to see a couple intelligent wrestlers, you know, Take advantage of this lax referee, you know, take advantage of the rules. I, I endorse that. You know, it's not as evil as me, of course, but, you know, they're trying. Right. Well, of course, Johnny Collins, say what you want in 2019, but getting physical with a woman, never a good look in the ring. Okay, Ariella takes advantage, going for the pin, and the kick out from Megan, the face breaker. Especially when you're taking cheap shots, as Ariella brings Mason See, I didn't back see any cheap middle. shots. All I saw was a hard kick to the back. Ariella was perfectly in her legal rights to do that. As we have a figure four neck lock cinched in on Megan Mason. The crowd coming alive and slayed on the apron, looking like a madman, ready to get in the ring. Uh, not for nothing, Slade does uh, intimidate others. He doesn't intimidate me, of course, but I could see him intimidating others. I'm sure you'd be intimidated by a good old Slade. Oh! A uh, headbutt there from Mason to Nix, breaking the face, possibly. Uh, Johnny oh. Collins going for a shot. Oh, another headbutt! 
No fear from Megan. It makes the tag to Slade. Slade like a house of fire with those clotheslines. Oh my goodness. Slade only needing one. Here comes a B.O. Oh, let's see you do it again. Oh, Slade's not going to do it again. He's, I think he's going to kill Johnny Collins. Oh, who to the face? Yeah, this is survival mode for Collins right now. Because if Slade catches him up, oh, uh, this is not going to be a good landing, Johnny. Well, Slade, what's he got? Oh, huge side power slam. Oh, Ariel and Nick's breaking up the pin. And Slade looking at her like, are you serious? <laughs> What's Johnny Collins going for back here? As we have Chaos at the front of the ring. Oh! Hair sprayed in Slade's eyes! He, you know, clearly Slade smelly. He's just trying to make him smell better. And there's a pinfall right there. One, two, and three. That's it. There we go. Johnny Collins, a smart man. Johnny Collins trying to clean up Slade's act. Thinking up the ring, I gotta admire what he did in that match. The coach Mamone's here? can't just start wrestling around, we have to warm up, do some calisthenics, all right? Hold on one second. Remember, it's their first day, go easy. It's all about encouragement, okay? Encouragement makes them better. All right, good. All right, guys, we're gonna start with some squats. Let's do some squats, we're gonna warm up those legs. Go ahead, let's see. Nice, easy squats, let's get those squats going. It's down and up, down and up, come on, down and up. All right, no, hold on, I, I gotta dive in, I gotta dive in for it. Hold on one second. So guys, listen, I did a little dive in for us. These are the muscles that we're working out. The quadriceps, they're right in front, okay? Notice the smiley face? We're smiling because we're happy. We're working out, we're getting better. Those quadriceps in front are the muscles we're working. Here's the side view. Quadriceps are right there, and sometimes you feel it on the butt too. The butt gets nice and big. It's from these big, big leg muscles, all right? Now that we saw the diagram, let's try again. Squats again, let's see what you got. Let's see. Focus on those quads, muscles in the front. Focus on the quads. All right, all right, go ahead. I, I got, I, I'll make you move that. Hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, hold on. Let me see. When we're standing still, back is nice and straight, legs are straight. When we bend over, the knees go in front. Look, back is straight, stomach is straight. We're not bending over the knees, we're right on top of them. Okay, nice and straight. Better? All right, let's see what you got. Go ahead, try it again, try it again. Memory, back is straight, just over the knees, over the knees, keep that back straight, chest straight. All right, you know, come on, all right, all right, all right. Um, Let's do, let's do a five minute break. Uh, we'll, we'll get some water for like five minute break, all right? Give me a second, I'm gonna get some water. some water, but guess we're good. Thanks, coach. Hydration. Coach approves. First name Bobby, ah! last name Orlando, and I the go this, you already know, yo, sure, crew here, 
with the lyrical flow Inform the little kids on what you need to know Rim word tired of games and toys Chase away privilege quick Let's go! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Bobby Jr. Representing the Shirt Crew and weighing in at 205 pounds, he is your mom, the greatest of all time, Bobby Orlando. Introducing his opponent. Hailing from Queens Village, New York, weighing in at 175 pounds, this is Mr. Tears! <laughs> Welcome to Cap TV! It is I, Platinum Max Caster, alongside Pat Fitzpatrick, calling the action here as my good friend. Bobby Orlando, the goatest of all time, against Mr. Tibbs. And uh, it's Kevin fair Tim. to say, Max, that uh, you're a little, like, you're not impartial in this match. You're, you, you got, you're rooting for someone specific here. That is true, Bobby. All right, Bobby, not off to a great start. I'll tell you, a little surprised that Tibbs can overpower Bobby like that. Well, Tibbs is a veteran, Ooh. and he has a lower center of gravity, even though he is only 142 pounds. He's able to move the much bigger. Robert Orlando Jr. Jr. Is he illegal? Is he illegal, Robert? Uh oh. Does Bobby return the favor? Whoa. Oh. You gotta say that's crossing the line, Max Caster. Well, he learned that from me. Oh gosh. Watch out, Bobby. Big time atomic drop. And uh, I don't think Kevin's gonna be having any more kids anytime soon, or laying down comfortably after that back rake and the drop kick by Bobby. Referee a little out of position, but still gets the two. Bobby with wrench in the headlock, brings him down. Nice use of the hips there. Using the hips to throw his opponent. Bobby has learned from the best. Who do you learn from, you? Uh, I don't wanna... Uh, Bobby don't Jr.? Shook, Shook doesn't divulge his secrets. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, Tibbs. Oh, you got Tibbs oh, here. Oh, Tibbs now. We've had back rakes, beard grabbing. I don't know who's the good guy in this situation. Oh, Bobby Orlando gets a big time receipt from Kevin Tibbs. Oh, no. Atomic drop. The chicken wing enthusiast taking control of the match. Big time gut kick. Big time Russian leg sweep. And then... It, it, Hell of a maneuver. Well, you know, Bobby's hurting right now. I'm not wanting to give Kevin any credit, but he is a great, great veteran wrestler. Kevin's been around for a minute. Kevin's been around for a minute. He knows a thing or two. He's been wrestling as long as Bobby's been alive. I'll put it to you that way. Bobby's only 13 years old. In dog years? In goat years. <laughs> In goat years. In goat years. What is goat years? Now Bobby's got a hold of Kevin's beard. I tell you, there's back rakes, kisses, and beard grabs in this match. We see it all right here in Cap. That, that was weird. No. 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 Well, I mean, I'm kind of speechless right now. Are we going to really kiss in this match? Oh, oh! Well, that was right on the kisser. That's got to be it. This referee continues to be out of position. He's got to get by those shoulders. Yeah, Bobby Kevin Tibbs taking an advantage as he can get it. No one ever calls Bobby Orlando a the smartest man in the room, and I think Kevin was able to outsmart him with that. Yeah, but Bobby able to outmaneuver Kevin there. Moving out of the way of the senton, and again in the corner. Bobby once again eluding. It looks like Bobby's getting on a roll. Kevin needs to cut him down quick. Bobby with those big shoulders, big traps, able to tackle his opponents. Big shoulders, big traps, big ups. Suplex. Kevin landing on the small of his back. 
Tibbs is hurting. You know he's old, so he has a bad lower back. And now he's got a bad face after that drop. And that's got to be it. Oh, man. You know, it's kind of funny. You look at a guy like Bobby Orlando, you don't think of him as like um, a guy who could be very competent. But he's hitting those shoulder tackles. Hitting those shoulder tackles with precision. Coming off the top rope with a great drop kick. A nice up and over. I'm just saying, you know, when you meet Bobby, you don't exactly think, this is the smartest guy in my room, you know? Well, I guess that kind of explains no that. in the pool. Yeah. Bobby, not a smart move there. This has been a game of one-upsmanship so far, and neither man could land the senton, but no. Oh, and now Tibbs. Tibbs. Now Bobby has to cut Tibbs down. Tibbs is rocking and rolling. Stinger splash by Kevin Tibbs. Oh. Step up. Watch the bulldog. You've seen it. We've studied tape. No. We've studied tape, Bobby. Good job, Bobby. Good job. Again, this referee just a little out of position. Makes me nervous. Mr. Tibbs now with the control. Tibbs calling out the goat. Blower. Maybe it was for Bobby Jr. Because I have a feeling Bobby Jr. loved what he just saw. Oh, Goat Valley Driver again on the low back. The Coxix area. And that's it. That's it. Ring that bell. A great win from Bobby. Great effort from Kevin Tibbs. But it like shook his head all over there. Joe Cruz always on a roll. Bobby, one of the most, most talented wrestlers in the world right now. And Kevin Tibbs just found out why. <laughs> Damn, every single week, like you would think after a while, this kid's old, but it can never get old. Cap TV is so amazing. I promise you guys, two beautiful matches, and you got him. Bobby Orlando, you got a dub. Johnny Collins and Ariella Nix. No one likes you, but you got a dub. Guys, Cap TV is amazing as always. If you guys haven't already done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the post notifications. Get notified of all episodes of Cap TV coming out every Monday night at 7 o'clock p.m. And make sure to give us one of these down flipping below. All right, we got a few quick announcements that I want to get to before we wrap up this week's episode. First, Critical Wrestling has hardcore Halloween coming up, and it's going to be massive. So make sure you go over to CriticalWrestling.com. Get your tickets because it's coming October 19th. I also have uh, one more thing. I like to say I'll also be competing on that day against Alex Reynolds and uh, camera. I'm gonna get really close here. I'm gonna murk you straight up. Title and thumbnail Jack Tomlinson murks Alex Reynolds. I also have a few other announcements. I recently got a fanny pack. I just want to add that because I love that. Uh, you can also follow me on TikTok at Jack Tomlinson34. And also make sure to get the merch at prowrestlingkeys.com slash JT Blobs. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Alex Reynolds, I still hate you, but I love you, Jack Pack. I'm out. Bye. Catch the hat.